today we are going to prepare a map with three variables or you can also map it with multiple variables but today we will likely see how to create a map with three different variables for that you need to insert the shape file the number of times you want that particular variables to be mapped in this attribute table you see a list of variables that we are going to map for the session so you see here we have the population density the sex ratio for 2000 and 2020 and also we have the population density so we are going to plot all these three variables in one map the population in number sex ratio and population density there does not exist a straightforward method in order to map multiple variables but we can manipulate that by inserting multiple shape files in order to create a map with multiple variables okay First, we have to go to the symbology of each shape file and select the particular variable and plot a map for each shape file so we are, we have selected the sex ratio and change its color well, you can manipulate the uh, the plots here from pie diagram to say bars or columns or even you can change it to stacked so that can be changed by using the charts under the layer properties of symbology of different shape files you can click sh shift and select the variables and click the right arrow and you will see the plots on the map with different plots like the stack the pie or the bar or column so these are the only three options that are available in the arc map okay so you have seen that we have already plotted one variable that is the sex ratio and second variable we are going to plot is the population density so you go to the uh, shape files symbology and go to the quantiles and you see there you have to change the value and change it to population density you will find that these are all in a class intervals so you can change the class interval uh, by clicking on the classes number of classes three four five any number you can choose or you can change the method also and you see there are different variables you can change the method like equal interval you can also change it to different other methods here available you can also do it manually you can insert it like I can put insert here number 100 and you can see that class interval has changed so we have plotted the second variable population but it has not come out in our map so what might be the problem here so you see the blue color you see in the map is the color from the first layer so we have to make it transparent in order to bring out the population density underneath that particular shape file so we have to choose hollow ok apply ok so you see the second layer the population density has popped up as we made the first layer transparent by choosing hollow in the symbology options now let's choose the third variable the population number that we have uh, the numbers according to the districts 
so we are going to plot the numbers choose properties then go to symbology then go to the quantities and there you see the dot density choose dot density then a population in number now you can change the color and also you have to make the background transparent in order for the other variables to pop up so there are other color variables that you can choose click apply okay now you see that this population in number has doesn't show up in the layer so what might be the problem here also so you see the layer arrangement in the arc map so it is the arrangement that which one will be on top of the other variable so you need to bring the third variable that is a population in number in the middle see the now the population density the sorry the population in number has showed up in the map in our map you can also change the symbology color size of the particular dots by choosing the patterns color pattern the symbol patterns from the symbol selector so we have chosen the black color and we have kept the symbol as circles so you see a nice and wonderful map has popped up so in this map we have three different variables from the sex ratio to population density and also population in numbers so in this way you can create a map with different other variables you can plot a number of variables like iso lines you can also choose patterns and arrangement like different symbols within if we are not using colors to represent different other variables so that's it we have created a map with multiple variables thank you for your time